Food's ready. It's nothing special. Teresa, let's review our plan before we go in. All right. We'll tell Oscar that we'll release you if he gives up his weapons and Malachim. We'll tie him up, collect the Therian, and then head for the docks. Once we're aboard our ship and ready to sail, we'll release you. You'll be free to do whatever you want. Very well. But I want you to promise me one thing. Promise me you won't hurt Oscar. That depends on him. I'll defend myself if I have to. <sighs> um, Velvet! Please. Do it for me, too. If you want to save Oscar, you need to make him listen. Put your own life on the line. You're his sister. Do whatever you have to to protect him. I will. Even if it means my death. We can do this! It's over!
not to misuse my power. We're almost at the Earth Pulse Point. You all know the plan, right? I'm using you as a hostage to keep Oscar from doing anything stupid. And don't you try anything funny either. I knew you'd come, Velvet. Sister! As plain as day. Now put down your sword and let go of my fairy. If you don't, I'll kill her. You coward! I'm sorry to do this, Oscar! I'm searching for the truth behind the Abbey's talk of so-called reason. And your idea of reason is to threaten my dear sister's life? <sighs> I'm sorry, Oscar. I've become nothing but a burden. Teresa, no. It's not like that. All right. I'll put down my arms. <clears throat> Teresa, get back! Give me, Oscar. This is the only way I can protect you. We've kept our end of the bargain. Take him and get out of here. I can't do that. It will reflect poorly upon him. Lady Teresa? Have you forgotten? You're just a powerless human. You're right. I am a weak, worthless human. But he has shown me the light, and it shines. My body is receptive to Inominat's power. And with it, I can protect everything I care about! She turned into a Therian? No, she fused with it. I'll kill you all! Anything to protect Oscar! Emerging with the fairy. Do you realize what you're doing, Teresa? <laughs> A trivial sacrifice. I'd do anything for my Oscar.
down, or I'll devour you piece by piece. <laughs> it's okay, sister. You've done enough. No, don't look at me. I'm so hideous. When I was growing up, the only one my mother and father ever paid any attention to was my older brother, the heir. But you, Teresa, you noticed me when they didn't. You looked after me, supported me, smiled for me. I could never thank you enough, my sister. Keep watching over me, Teresa. As long as you're looking after me, I can vanquish even the Lord of Demons. Take a good look. This is armatization.
My sister. He's losing control of the mall. Oh, damn it! It's turning into a dragon. Velvet, quick! Devour that thing! Stop! He's still. for my birthday. They're family heirlooms that were supposed to go to his fiance, but he didn't know that at the time. I told him he should give them to the woman he cares most about in the world. And you know what he did? He smiled at me and said I was that woman. So sweet, so innocent, and you took him away! You killed my Oscar! How could you? How could you? How could you? No! Don't do it! Huh? <gasps> 
Don't cry, Oscar. You're strong. You're so strong. Teresa, Oscar. <sighs> and we didn't even get the Therian we came for. He... Oscar came at him first. I had to. It was for Luffy. For my... Just dead. I killed them. I'm the same as Artorias. I killed her brother before her very eyes. It's not the same. It is the same! But I didn't have any choice! It was the only way to avenge you! It was all for you! I did it for you! There's nowhere left to run. Nowhere for you or for me. You all right? I ate too much. That's all. They... they were close. They supported each other ever since they were children. I just did to them what they were going to do to us. And who will killing them save? The soul of my murdered brother. <gasps> oh. Whatever the case, we messed up the Therian part of the plan. They're probably making a new one as we speak. There's no time to waste. Let's go back to the port and start our search. Yeah. I... had to do it. All of it. Velvet! expected that Velvet would actually eat Teresa. What else could she do? We never expected that Teresa would be a Therian either. Velvet and Lady Teresa weren't so different. They both loved their brothers. Not everyone loves their brothers. Some just want them dead. <sighs> so where does this leave us? It seems we must search for the new Therian that will fill the void left by Teresa. It won't be easy to find another who could become a Therian. Hmm. Then it won't be easy for the Abbey either. And they still may not be able to awaken in Nominat. We still can't assume that we're in the clear, though. 
No, we can't. If it takes time for the Therian to be reborn, this could be our chance to strike. Whatever happened, the seven Therian's ties have been severed from Inominat. But we won't know if the Empyrean has been weakened until we find out for ourselves. I can try and see if I can sense the new Therian. So let's go back to the prison island first. But I think... Velvet needs time to rest. Right. If we're gonna take down Artorius, she has to be there with us. Yeah. First mate, there's trouble. We got an emergency message from Port Zexen. A ship carrying dozens of exorcists just set sail for Titania. They have orders to eliminate the Lord of Calamity. Yeesh. Looks like the hideout's not so hidden after all. It wasn't me! I didn't tell them anything! Then you won't have any problem helping us. We're rescuing the Therians. Of course not. I won't let them take Kamoana again. Wait. That information came from the Bloodwings? No, from a peddler I often do business with. Exorcist operations like this are usually kept a closely guarded secret. And you're telling me a regular civilian knew about it? You think it's a trap? Trap or not, we don't have a choice. Our enemies know the odds. If they've set a trap for us, that means they think they can win. The Armatus! Yes, they're likely to throw armatized exorcists at us. Even your demon arm can't eat Armati. You might just have a real problem on your hands. If I can't devour them, then we kill them. Yeah, if we overcome the Armati, we can win. Like with Oscar. But his Armatus was still incomplete. From what I could gather, if the Exorcist remains Armatized for too long, their Moloch will turn into a dragon. But to prevent these dragons from running wild, Melchior embedded a self-destruction art in both Exorcist and Moloch. To think they would go that far. Uh, this is all just conjecture, of course, but we should prepare ourselves as best we can. Just make sure not to leave any regrets behind. Hmm. <laughs> I really can't fathom what the Abbey is doing. Even if they did let us know on purpose, why would they leave us be? I would have expected them to press the attack against us. Even if their aim is to capture our allies as some kind of leverage against us, their plan is too many holes. What if we decided to abandon Kamoana and the others? They'd be no closer to capturing Velvet. Do they actually want the Therians back? What are you saying? Why did Melchior place that illusion on a ball to lure Velvet in? That was so he could capture her, right? And in case he couldn't capture her, he could kill her and create another Therian. Okay, so if securing the Therians is so important to them, why would they throw Orthrus to the winds? That's a puzzler. Melchior was right there, and he didn't try to protect Orthrus at all. I don't understand it. It's like they're toying with us. I don't see any point in that either. They must know we won't give up. Actually... That could be close to the mark. What if they're just trying to rattle us? Everything would fit, including the assault on Titania. Whatever's going on, I don't think we're going to like it. So, Eleanor, about that Armatus Oscar used, was that something the Abbey has been working on for a while? I was never involved in weapons development or anything like that. But I did hear of a secret research division. Word was that they were deciphering ancient scrolls and books coming from every corner of the Empire. Apparently, Teresa knew something of the ancient tongue, and they called her in to help from time to time. Did she work on Inominat's book? I was never privy to any of the details, but I think the books were mostly about controlling Malachim. 
Well, that Siegfried thing of Zavid's is some kind of power control device, right? The Abbey probably learned about Siegfried in one of those books, and realized they could use it to armatize. So Melchior tracked Zavid down and stole the formula. Makes sense. It was all so they could create the Armatus. Will Eifried be alright? Complete or not, they've seen that they can use the Armatus in battle. They have no use for him anymore. <sighs> Let's get back to Titania, Aizen. I'll help out with the ship. Right. Let's set sail. Urgent message! Let him know that they'll be arriving at Titania within a few hours! So it was you all along, Bien Fu. <laughs> I'm surprised I didn't sense it. There is a Gesh on you, interfering with our pact. <laughs> well played, Melchior. Impressive. That old man must have planned all of this, from the very moment you escaped me. Even my imprisonment in Titania and my encounter with Velvet. All calculated down to the minute. Huh, <laughs> nice. F forgive me, Miss Mogilu! There was no way I could fight against Lord Melchior's arts! <sighs> I don't care. I don't care about anything. And I don't care that I don't. Listening. We heard it all. Oh, boring. Fine then, do with us what you will. It's not like I trusted you to begin with. Spy or no spy, this was inevitable. Besides, you're not sorry. Make yourself useful and fight for us. <sighs> you're good at this cruelty that's also compassion thing, aren't you? I just don't have the time to deal with you two. After this whole business is over with, I'll devour you, if that's what you want. Hey, Velvet. Tell me, what does it feel like to... hate? Does it torment you? Is it agony? Does the searing fire of your hatred empower you to feel? Does it give your life meaning where there was none? <laughs> Land ho! Titania! There's an Abbey ship in the front docks! Take us around back! If you want your answer, fight by my side. You'll see it the very moment I kill Artorias.
In the face of doom, still the crow caws defiantly. <laughs> you really know how to vex me. So, you're using the Forbidden Arts. This has to be Melchior's doing. <laughs> Stop! I'm the one you want! The Lord of Calamity. That again? What a melodramatic name. It's what you're called by the scores of citizens whose lives you've ruined. Face the enormity of your sins. What idiocy. Huh. We'll carve the weight of your sin from your flesh. We are the wings of the divine will. <gasps> the Armatus! As expected. destroyed themselves. Just as I expected. The Abbey. They know exactly what they're doing. Grimoire, where are the Therians? Couldn't tell you. They came out of nowhere, and before I knew it, we were all split up. How's the book? Nearly done, but I'm still working on the critical passages at the very end. All of you, get on board the Von Eltia. I'll find the Therians. Oh? You really think we can make it past a horde of Armatite exorcists? Stay behind. I don't care. Don't touch that! You don't have to do alone. We're all in this together. And I promise. I promise I'll protect you, Velvet. You'll protect me. Long ago, Mafi said the same thing. But that sort of idealistic drivel will kill you. Make your worthless promises. They won't change reality. Look what happened to Lothi. Dead. Murdered. And I... I couldn't protect him either. In the end, no matter how much he cared for me, my only brother, he... His life torn away from him. Oh, it must have hurt. Velvet. You worry about yourself, Luffy said. That's an order. An... an order? We have to keep Inominat out of the picture, so that I can kill Artorius. Let's go! We'll push the enemy back and keep an eye out for the Therians. I 
know this isn't the best time, but I have something to say. Please forgive me. I've been a spy for Lord Melchior. You were the one telling the Abbey about us? Yes, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Melchior is a clever one, isn't he? Planting his spy right next to Magilu. After all, the forest is the best place to hide a tree. Melchior used his arts to place orders on Bienfu that overrode Magilu's pact. <sighs> that son of a dog. <laughs> Please don't hate me! I meant Melchior, not you. Really? Exerting control over someone else's life goes against everything Aizen stands for. We know you were forced to do it against your will. But my spying put everyone in serious danger! That's still a fact! The Bloodwings also knew what we were up to. The Abbey would have figured it out with or without you. What'd you tell them, anyway? Um, uh, that Velvet is actually pretty good wife material? And what fishing rods Aizen prefers? And what Miss Mogulu says in her sleep? And how fast Dial's tail regrows? What? That's what you told them? It's done. Pay it no more heed. But things must be set aright. Aright? How? Eleanor, I apologize for suspecting you. I'm sorry. Aizen! That's right! I must apologize as well! I'm deeply sorry, Lady Eleanor! Very well. Apologies accepted all around. Are exorcists using armatization aware that it could cost them their lives? I'm sure they are. If I were still with the Abbey... I would likely be using an armatus too. Endangering one's own life in order to save the many? It's the logical choice. But using something that dangerous so frequently in battle is absolutely wrong. The Abbey must be starting to feel the pressure too. Even so, the losses are unacceptably high. That's how badly they want the Therians, and how big a threat we represent. Or it could be that it has nothing to do with us and the real point is to test their new weapon. That can't be. It's all an experiment? A blade proves its true worth by making it through battle unbroken. Are exorcists all that different? Your logic is sound, but it's still awful. We were able to survive this time, but it won't be much longer until they've perfected the armatization. That's not the only thing we need to worry about where ticking clocks are concerned. Am I wrong? Velvet. It doesn't matter. We kill whoever gets in our way. You better be ready. Fooling around. But I'm serious about my fooling around. I'm extra good at beating up the
everyone all right? First they robbed the Malachim of their will, and now their bodies, too. Makes me sick. But still, it fits their reason. They want strength, and no art can squeeze strength from a Moloch like that one. I'll finish this. So, you all got away. It was all I could do to flee. I have lost face. You don't have a face! Uh, I was so scared! It's okay now, dear. I won't let them cause you any more pain. M Medissa was the one who saved us. Thank you. I could never forgive them for involving children. That's all. Kuragane, head to the rear docks. Keep them safe. If you find the Prince and Griffin, take the Von Altia and escape. As you wish. Rokuro, take the Stormquell. I made it with the Orichalcum you gave me. You actually did it? I abandoned all desire and forged it with a clear mind. You will find no harder sword in all the world. Stormquell. Made from Orichalcum. I'll use it well, Kurogane. Blade, Stormquell! It's the hardest blade the world has ever known. Even to an untrained eye, that sword is obviously something special. Kurogane is a real master! Color me amazed! The God Blade Storm Howl versus the Orichalcum Stormquell. This will be something to see. Will it end in triumph, or will you need to try more oomph? The gods alone know. The gods have nothing to do with it. Skill alone will determine who lives and who dies. Managed to avoid capture, huh, Prince? As did you. You did well to avoid Artorius and his forces. Lord Artorius is here? He is. I overheard some exorcists mention it. Artorius. If you want to die, do it alone. We're saving the Therians before anything else. Besides, we're so close to deciphering the ancient book. I know. We'll escape from the rear docks. Follow me. Watch out, Princey Wincy. You ain't no Therian. If Griffin gets there first, we're leaving you behind. Uh, understood.
Artorius use an Armatus as well? I don't know. It's hard to believe that the Abbey's leader would risk using an art that could end his own life, but... The Shepherd's reputation would be ruined if he self-destructed over some botched formula. On the other hand, if the risk is based on the user's ability, then the Legates might not have any trouble. So if Artorius were to try, he'd Armatize with Inominat. Can an Empyrean be used as an Armatus? I'm not even sure Artorius can handle that. He'll do it. Why else would he try to revive Inominat? But we're talking about an Empyrean! He'll succeed. I'm certain of it. This is the Shepherd Artorius we're talking about here. Whether God or Devil stands in his way, he won't be swayed. That's who he is. Velvet! But it won't save him. He'll die by my hand. Empyrean or no Empyrean. We're finished here. Let's go. Bison, there's trouble. The enemy found the Von Eltia. Several enemy ships are heading this way right now. Set sail, now! I'm, uh, glad we were able to save everyone. There's no escape, Lord of Calamity! Benwick, forget me! Take the Von Altia and leave, now! That's madness! What do you think you're doing? If I don't take them down, they'll sink you from afar! Raise anchor! We'll make it through somehow! Aye, aye. But don't die. You hear me? Crazy kids. We're not going to die. We're going to kill.
We'll head to the front docks. To steal an Abbey ship, I take it? That's where the Abbey's main forces will be concentrated. And Lord Artorius should be there too. All the better. But... we still don't have a way to fight Inomina. I told you, if you want to die, do it alone. I'm not asking you to come with me. Use me. Percival. Don't worry. Griffin got away. If you use me as a hostage, you should be able to steal a ship. I owe you one for this. But don't expect gratitude. I don't. Looks like this is our best and only bet. Thank you.